For the first time in uh, more than 50 years, the United States is about to launch a lunar lander, something, a spacecraft that's actually going to attempt to land on the moon. Uh, that hasn't been done um, on the behalf of the United States since 1972, when two Apollo astronauts uh, bid goodbye to the moon after a very successful long program. Jack, how's the visibility back to the center geophone, Ben? How's it, Ben? Yeah, are you, are you not bad. Okay, you're not having to worry about it. Yeah. NASA has uh, contracted with private companies to send their own landers to the moon, sort of to, to scout out the place before astronauts actually arrive. So this is a NASA-supported program, but the two companies, one in Pittsburgh, one in Houston, are putting their own um, money into this to uh, pick up clients along the way. Each company plans to send multiple landers to the moon, but this will be the first their first tries, um, and uh, everyone's really pretty excited. Most people are agreeing that before we send astronauts all the way to Mars, which is a six month journey under um, current circumstances, then you got to spend about a year there, then bring them. I mean, that's a two year expedition, minimum, maybe three. Um, you know, get some training and practice on the moon before you rush off to Mars. NASA's administrator, Bill Nelson, had told me, you know, these, these little landers that are going up to land in the next couple of months, they're the scouts. They're are, they are there to sort of um, help pave the way for when people come, hopefully in, in the next few years.